What's up guys, Eric Vasquez here from teachmedesign.com and it's no secret that Photoshop is loaded to the max with tons of filters and effects that you can use to distort and transform your images. And in today's lesson we'll be talking about one of those filters in particular and that is the polar coordinate filter. We'll be using this to distort a regular panoramic photo to create some very cool and interesting effects. Okay guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can do this cool kind of polar coordinates trick in Photoshop and it's something that we haven't really touched on yet so I just wanted to get into it and, and show you guys how it's done. So to start, ideally you want to have an image that's you know got a pretty uniform uh, top and, and bottom here, something like this where you've just got pretty much clear blue sky on the top and all of these little stems and, and leaves and stuff along the bottom, um, preferably something that is, you know, fairly simple or, or streamlined or consistent uh, like this image will work well. So the first thing we want to do is create a new document and just make sure that it's perfectly square. This can be 5x5, five 10x10, five, ten ten, whatever you want. But for this example I'm just going to use 4x4. Four four. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is just drag this panoramic photo into my new document and I'm going to do a free transform and hold down the um, shift key or the alt and shift keys and then scale it down and just match the height of your of your new document, right? I made it a little bit too small. There you go. Almost. Okay, so then once you have that, press Command J to make a duplicate layer, and then press Command T or Control T once again to do another free transform. And we're just going to squish this image, move it all the way to the right, so you have something like that. And Right now, I know it looks pretty strange and distorted, but we're going to be fixing that in a few moments. So, um, the next thing that we're going to do is come up here to Filter, choose Other, Offset. Now, because you know our image is about 1,200 pixels wide, you want to do an offset that is exactly half of your document size. So, 600 pixels should be fine. All right. So once you've offset that, you'll see that we now have this kind of hard line up here and we're, we want to get rid of that hard edge so I'm just going to use the clone stamp tool to kind of come in here and, and click on top of some of this to get rid of that hard edge um, but you know you can also use this in combination with the brush tool or maybe the the healing brush tool pretty much anything that you're that you're comfortable with and you know you may want to zoom in a little bit too it doesn't have to be perfect but you know the less of this hard edge that we can that we can see the better um, it'll it'll give us a better result all right, so I'm just going to switch to my brush tool now, zoom in a little bit, and just kind of paint out whatever remains of this hard edge here. Okay, so there you go. Um, and if you want to, you can always carry a little bit more of this blue over. I'm just holding down the Alt Option key on my keyboard to toggle between my eyedropper tool and then clicking the sample of you know some of the blue and just painting out any of these little clouds on the very top of the image. Alright, so once you've done that, um, the next thing we're going to do is press Command T on the keyboard and we're going to hold down Control and click and then flip vertical. So now our image is upside down. Okay, and so from here the next thing we're going to do is come up to Filter, Distort, and choose polar coordinates. Now when you do this, if I zoom out, you'll kind of see this effect that we're going for here. Now if I if I didn't uh, flip this image vertically and I were to do a distort polar coordinates, it would kind of be the opposite where all the plants are going along the outside, but because we want the plants to be going from the inside out, um, that is why we are flipping our image upside down. Alright, so again distort polar coordinates and hit OK. And so that's the, the basic idea of it. But you'll see, like, it's kind of weird. You have these lines. I don't know if you guys can tell along the outside of the image here. And uh, we want to get rid of those. So all I'm going to do is create a new layer. And again, hold down the Alt Option key to toggle between my eyedropper. And then I'm just going to sample some of that blue sky. Move it below. Move it below your uh, polar coordinates layer. And then I'm going to add a layer mask and just kind of brush out some of these lines on the, the outermost part of the uh, warped or distorted image that we have. 
All right, so that's just going to kind of fade to that solid blue color now that we have. And if you want to take it a little bit further, you know, you can do like maybe a little vignette or something around the edges. And the way that I like to do that, just to make sure it's nice and centered, is to uh, select, a, you know, one of your layers and press Command T. And that will show you, you know, the little handles that indicate where the center, the vertical and the horizontal center of your image is. All right, so once you've done that, you can press Command or Control and the... Uh, colon or semicolon key on the keyboard and then we're gonna press G to get our gradient tool uh, again sample some of the sky color here by holding down the alt option key and clicking and then we want to make sure that reverse is checked off and that we have a radial gradient that fades now from transparent to a solid color alright and then from there we're just gonna hold down click and drag from the center of the image outwards sorry I should do that on a new layer that would help create a new layer and then drag from the center outwards and just change this layer to multiply and then you can reduce the opacity a little bit. I'm going to turn off the guides so that you can see the little bit of that vignetted effect there. And uh, that's pretty much it guys. So we've, we've taken from this to this and created this uh, small world or planet type of effect that some people would call it. And you know it's not perfect but you guys kind of get the idea. You can have a lot of fun with this if you do this with uh, you know, landscape photos or even cityscapes and, and skyscrapers and things like that. And, you know, just try some things out and see what kind of results you can come up with on your own. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please give us a like or leave a comment or question below. And also sign up for our Design Better contest, which I'll put a link for in the description. And that'll give you guys the chance to ask me any design-related questions you have. And also uh, let me know what kind of projects you're working on. And if you send me your project, I will actually do a video uh, where I give you personalized tips and techniques to help you design better. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.